Hello! Welcome to the NC Libraries tutorial on internet searching. This tutorial will give you some tips and skills to improve your web searching, specifically with Google. In this tutorial, we'll look at some search basics, strategies for refining your search, and some hidden search options in Google Advanced. Mastering these techniques will help you in school and in everyday life by maximizing your efficiency when you're looking for relevant information on the web. Let's get started! Here are some basic points about Google searching to keep in mind. Capitalization doesn't matter. Punctuation is generally ignored. Spelling is automatically corrected. Google assumes an AND between your search terms. And finally, Google searches for synonyms automatically. When you search an online database, like the ones you find through the library, you probably don't want to start too narrow because there's a limited amount of information in each database. But on the web, it's better to use the opposite strategy and incorporate more words in your searches to avoid generating an overwhelming number of search results. For example, a search on healthcare in Canada currently retrieves over 234 million results. When sustainability is added to the search, the results decrease to 17 million. The more specific you are with your search terms, the more relevant your results will be. One of the most helpful things you can do is use quotation marks around a phrase to search for those words together, exactly as they appear. For example, searching healthcare reform will retrieve over 155 million results at the time this tutorial was recorded. Compare that to searching healthcare reform with quotation marks around it. This cuts the number of search results down to 8.2 million. Still a lot, but you're at least getting closer. There are a number of different search operators you can use to help you find exactly what you're looking for. Here are some of the more commonly used functions. Exclude words from your search by putting a minus sign in front of the word you want to leave out. For example, Healthcare Reform Canada minus United States. Combine your search with OR to expand your search criteria. For example, Healthcare Canada or Elder Care Canada. Search for results from a specific website by putting site colon in front of a domain. For example, Healthcare site cbc.ca. Get more details about a site by putting info colon in front of the site address. For example, info.cbc.ca. Instead of trying to remember the previously discussed search operators, you can use Google's advanced search features to accomplish the same functions. Go to Search Settings, Advanced Search, and use the search fields. You will also find search limiters here that can help you narrow your search by language, region, last updated date, site or domain, where your search terms appear, eliminating explicit material, file type, and usage rights. You should try the same search in different search engines to see other results that Google may have missed. DuckDuckGo is a popular alternative search engine that doesn't track you. If you're looking for scholarly, peer-reviewed research, consider using Google Scholar as an alternative to general Google. Of course, don't forget the library! To recap, you'll save yourself time and frustration with your web searches if you take advantage of the advanced search options available to you. Remember to be as specific as possible with your search to achieve maximum relevancy in your results. And finally, don't be afraid to try the same search in multiple search engines to ensure you're not missing out on crucial information. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, contact your campus library. Visit our website at niagaracollege.ca slash library for full contact information. You'll also find further tutorials on our website about evaluating information that you find on the internet. Visit these resources to learn more about this topic. Except for screenshots or otherwise indicated, photographs are courtesy of unsplash.com.